हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन बल कार डेटा एनालिसिस एंड इन दिस सेगमेंट आई विल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू परफॉर्म रीड अलाइनमेंट यूजिंग द स्टार अलाइनर एंड आई रिकमेंड यूजिंग मोर देन वन अलाइनमेंट टूल वन परफॉर्मिंग आर एन एसिक डेटा एनालिसिस विथ रिफरेंस जीनोम स्टार यूज एज ए यूनिक एल्गोरिदम मेकिंग इट एन इनवेल्यूएबल टूल फॉर दिस पर्पज एंड टू इंश्योर स्मूथ प्रोसेस वी विल क्रिएट ए सेपरेट कुंडा इन्वायरमेंट और स्टार इंडेक्सिंग एंड अलाइनमेंट लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एंड हियर आई एम शोइंग यू द वर्किंग मैकेनिज्म ऑफ स्टार सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज इंडेक्स जनरेशन वी विल क्रिएट द इंडेक्स यूजिंग द जीनोम फाइल एंड जी टी एफ फाइल सो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन डाउनलोड द जीनोम एंड जी टी एफ फाइल फ्रॉम द इंसेम्बल वेबसाइट एंड द नेक्स्ट ब्रीड अलाइनमेंट सो इट इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट अप्रोच फ्राम अदर अलाइनर सो हियर यू कैन सी द सीड सर्च इन विच स्टार डिवाइड ईच रीड इन टू स्मॉलर सेगमेंट कॉल सीड्स इट सर्च फॉर एग्जैक्ट मैच ऑफ दीज सीड्स इन द इंडेक्स जीनोम दिस स्टेप यूज द प्री बिल्ड इंडेक्स टू क्विकली फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ द सीड्स एंड नेक्स्ट इज सीड मैपिंग द आइडेंटिफाइड सीड मैच आर देन एक्सटेंड टू फॉर्म लॉन्गर अलाइनमेंट अलाउंग फॉर गैप्स एंड मिस मैच स्टार यूज ए टू पास मैपिंग अप्रोच टू इम्प्रूव अलाइनमेंट एक्सी In the first pass, you can see here initial alignment is performed to identify splice junction, and next is read or realign using the updated splice junction database, leading to more accurate alignments, especially for splice reads. And the third step is splice junction detection. Fourth is scoring and filtering. Here in the alignment score, you can see star assign score to alignments based on the number of mismatches gaps and other factors high score indicate better alignments and the uh, final is output star provide the sam or pam file you can put according to the requirement and then you can use those file for the further analysis like feature count or htc count and if you want to know more about the star you can read the original paper star ultra fast inverser rna sic aligner published from cold spring harbor laboratory in this publication they have mentioned each and every detail you can see here algorithm seed search process of seed search next clustering stitching and scoring they have also compared other aligner along with the star like top hat to here you can see true positive rate versus false positive rate and the other parameter as well and if you want to read more you can go through this publication and now i'm going to open my terminal and i'm going to change the directory of rnsic that i am using for this tutorial series these are the file and directories available in this directory and i'm going to open a new window of terminal to open the script file separately here change directory i am going to open the script using the nano editor that is rnsic demo and here i have already written the star indexing command for the indexing we need genome file so i am using the mouse genome but in your case you can download the primary genome according to your subject and also the gtf file so first i am going to show you how you can download the genome file and gtf file from the ensemble database so to download the genome file you can search ensemble in the google and open ensemble genome browser and here you can see the mouse but you can search according to your requirement here but i'm going to click here on the mouse and to download the genome here you can see the download dna sequence click here first first plus primary assembly so i'm going to right click and copy the link address from here and in the terminal you can use wget command and paste the 
link press enter here you can see mouse genome is downloading so during this i am going to show you how you can create conda environment so i'm going to close this using the command control x i'm going to activate the conda so base is active of conda environment i'm going to check the conda environment list there are three environment base rnsic and rnsic demo so now i'm going to show you how we can create the conda environment using the command conda create space hyphen name and the environment name so i'm going to create with star press enter so star conda environment is created so we can check that using the command conda env list star conda environment is present i'm going to activate the star environment for this conda activate star press enter base is changed to star so we are in the star environment I'm going to clear the base now i'm going to check the package in this current environment so for this conda for this conda list so you can see there is no package available in this current environment so i'm going to install the star package to perform the indexing and alignment for this i'm going to search the package conda search star press enter so here you can see there are different version available of star so i'm going to install the latest one for this conda install package name star equal to version name 2.7.11b press enter these are the dependencies that will be installed along with the star press enter so star package is installed in this star conda environment but it is very important that in my current conda environment pyconda conda for and default channel is already added but if you are using first time maybe in your case conda for and pyconda is not available so you have to install those channel or configure those channel so that you can get the package star because it is available in the pyconda and dependencies and the conda for so for this i have already discussed in my first part of the tutorial series you can get the information from there now if i check the conda list for the package you can see here the star is present i'm going to clear the base in the other panel we can see here it is 87% i am waiting for the genome and the gtf file after this i will also download the gtf file from the ensemble here you can see the mouse download gtf open this link so we can download this gtf so i'm going to copy the link address from here so i'm going to use the wget command paste the link here press enter The GTF file is downloaded, so I'm going to check that using the ls command. GTF dot gz file is present, so it is in the zip form. I'm going to unzip this using the g unzip command. Press enter. Now again, I'm going to check that. Must plus plus grc m39.112.gtf file is present 
so I'm just waiting for genome file 96% the genome file is downloaded so I'm going to clear the page here ls command this is also in the zip format so I'm going to unzip this gnzip now check again file is unzip so in the second terminal I am going to open the script file using the nano editor first we will create the index file using the star command you can see here run more genome generate run thread number of n10 core I have provided here but you can provide according to your available thread but I, here I recommend you please don't put all the thread otherwise it will show you error again and again and the next is genome directory you have to provide the directory where you want to save your index file I have given the name star underscore index directory name so we have to create this directory so first I'm going to create this mkdir star underscore index press enter I'm going to check that star index directory is present so in the script the next thing you have to provide the genome pasta file and the gtf file that we already downloaded in the rns directory you can see here gtf file and the primary assembly of the mus musculus and the overhang 99 this is the command to generate the index file using the star but if you want to know more about the command and other things re related to the star you can go through the manual of the star and if you go through this manual you will get the, all the information about the star and the each and every command you run thread in number of thread genome generate you know FASTA file gtf file overhang and all other available option you can get the information from here like for the single end and pair in read and i will provide the link so that you can download the manual as well so now i'm going to run this script i'm going to save this using command control o press enter in the first terminal i'm going to run the script dot forward slash RNA-seq demo press enter here you can see RNA-seq demo 148 star not found we are in the root user so we have to activate the conda environment I'm going to activate that conda activate star now star conda environment is active and again I'm going to run the script so it's running now so I'm going to open the directory that we have created star index the script is running and temporary file now generating the star index directory so here you can see index file is generated now in the script I'm going to so I'm going to stop the index command to run again by adding the hash before each line of the command and I'm going to activate the alignment command here you can see in the alignment command star space hyphen run thread 20 genome generate genome directory star index and the read file in these are the input read file read one and read two for the pair in but the single in you have to provide only one fastq file so i will provide the command for single in as well in the description so that you can get the information or you can find these command in the manual as well so the out file prefix name is star align so we have to create the directory so that we can get the output file from the star 
for this I'm going to make the directory mkdir star underscore align this enter and the out same type here I have the pam so that we can get the pam file now I'm going to save the script using the control o press enter I'm going to run the script the first terminal press enter we started we start run loading genome and if we check the star align directory finished successfully so in the star align directory you can see dot bam file is generated so we will use this binary align map or bam file in the further analysis process like feature count or HTC count so in this way I have shown you that how you can perform the indexing and alignment using the star and this is very important alignment tool and if you are using other alignment tool please also check your alignment using the star and definitely you will get the better result so I am going to stop this tutorial here and in the next tutorial I will show you how you can count your gene using the feature count and the STC count from the file generated using the star indexing and alignment and also from the high set too so thank you for watching my tutorial if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you